In this video, we are going to look at the PYR test. The PYR test is used mainly for the identification of Streptococcus pyogenes, otherwise known as group A strep, and also for Enterococcus species. The uh, kit we're going to be using is by Hardy Diagnostics and this is a rapid test kit which and we should have our results in just uh, about three minutes. Okay so the first thing we need to do is we're gonna go ahead and take a couple of test discs out. So let me pull one out of the container here and I'll show you what it looks like. Get one of the little fellas here. Sorry, these kind of sticking together. Okay, so one of these. Okay, that will be our positive. And that will be our negative. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is, after that, I guess, is uh, we have to just moisten the disc. Now, we don't want to saturate it. We just want to, just one drop of, I'm just using distilled water. Okay, now it's time to inoculate our discs. And the procedure calls for us to use a plate that's, 18 to 24, I mean the colonies that are 18 to 24 hours old, and I'm going to scoop up, oh, two or three isolated colonies here. And I'm going to go ahead and smear that on the disc. Okay, so as I said, that's our positive control. And we're going to be using group A strep. Now, for the negative control, I'm going to use group B strep. Streptococcus agalactiae. Okay. Okay, so uh, the next step here is simply just to let these uh, incubate, and I'm going to get my timer going here for two minutes. <clears throat> okay, so our two minutes has past. So uh, the next step is just simply to take the uh, chromogenic solution which will cause the color to develop if it is in fact positive. So I'm just going to go ahead and put one drop on this one, oops, and one drop on this one. And the color should develop within one minute. So that's at the end of one minute is when you should be making your decision. But usually this test is pretty clear cut. Uh, you can see on the left the uh, strep pyogenes is coming up a bright pink and that is indicative of a positive uh, result. On the other side, you can either have just no color development or you can have kind of a, a you know, off-white, orangish, salmon, brownish type of uh, color development, but that is not considered positive. So, as I said, for a positive reaction, we have to have this bright pink uh, color development.